head down, when we are looking at the life of the body, we have several things. We have the image, of course, of the water flowing on the surface or inside of the earth and bringing life. But we also have basically the idea that it gives life by the perpetuity, the, the perpetual flowing. So, and uh, we have in ancient text this comparison which is very well expressed. So, for instance, in a text called the Quanze, and in the chapter, the chapter 39, speaking of the water at the surface of the earth, the comparison is made with the blood circulation, the shape by in the body of a human or eventually of animals. As it is said, Water is a blood and chi of earth, similar to what flows freely and continuously in the body, to ensure all the movement of the muscle, the muscular movement, and vital circulation. So, we have several other texts speaking of the my, of this vital circulation which are in the earth, and which shows not only circulation of actual water with the substance of the water, but also the perpetual circulation of what gives life, what is modeling the relief of the earth, causing, for instance, mountain chains to emerge, or any kind of vegetation to come life. In an ancient text, a very ancient text, the discourse of the kingdoms, for you, we found, for instance, for the time at the moment of the arrival of the spring, that the chi of earth shakes and emerge, or is shaken and makes emerging all kind of life and vegetation, and that the earth chi emerge in pulsation, in mind. Doesn't mean that the water is coming out of earth, it means that the circulation and this power of life, this flux of life inside of the earth that we may represent with the water is giving life, is giving to the earth its own life. Some centuries after this text of the discourse of the kingdom, the, 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 the records of the great historian, the Shetty, said that speak or speaks of someone who built a very long and heavy wall, so, and in the course of building this wall, he could not help but cut through the mind of the earth. And that, at other times, doesn't mean necessarily that he cuts the rivers, but that by building wall, he'll, he cut or make heavier or stop, block the free flowing, not only of some water, but before, but uh, uh, more essentially of, we may see the chi, the chi which is flowing, which is moving continuously in the earth. So we have the idea that the, the notion of my has to be taken as the unceasing flowing of what is making life and with also a kind of rhythm, a kind of pulsation. So, and that uh, may be at the best represented on earth by the flowing and the moving of the water everywhere, we, from the big rivers to the last of the little branches or ramifications, and in the body also, through the blood, the moving, the flowing of the blood, an unceasing flowing from the great channels to the last 
of the little uh, capillaries. But we also have to keep in mind that either the water on Earth or the blood in the body is a way to make visible, perceptible this movement, this flowing, which is above all a moving of chi, the expression chi, by so circulation of chi, movement of chi, free flowing of chi is also found in the text, including of course mainly the medical texts, as we will have of course very often the expression of Shui Mai, blood circulation, blood flowing.